Saving Steven opening win, um, five touchdowns for you, zero turnovers. Just how excited was it to come out here and start things off on the right foot? Um, it felt good. Um, going one and zero is always the main goal, you know, that you have during the off season. So to get the win is was really important for us. Um, with that being said, we got to get better. Some areas where we can improve on for sure, um, you know, because our ultimate goal is win the state championship. So um, you know, at the end of the day, good performance by our team, but. Uh, still room for improvement for sure. We're using a lot of hard counts in there. Uh, drew them offside once or twice. How much sure. do you really practice on that? And uh, how much can you really use it to your advantage going Yeah, uh, we probably practice it every day in practice. That's one of our focal points on our offense. Just it helps us to see what the defense is in, um, you know, pre-snap. And I think, you know, it's a great way to, you know, utilize what we have. You got some help from your weapons taking the, the ball and find a way for you. What did you think of their performance today? Sure. I'm always proud of them guys. They always do their job. Um, my job as a quarterback is just to get the, the ball to my playmakers in space. And, you know, it, it showed tonight that when I do that, good things happen for us. He camped a few times over the summer with Corey Dennis. Uh, what lessons did he install in you that you've maybe used here tonight and could use going forward this season? Yeah, um, taking over the game, really. Um, being the man out there at all times, you know. Eyes are going to be on me from now on, you know, for the rest of my life. So, um, you know, it's just it's it, it feels a little bit different when that type of pressure is on you. But at the same time, um, you know, he's a great mentor. I go to him every day. So uh, more things will be coming from him for sure. Was it different for you taking the field as an Ohio State commit? Did you feel that pressure taking the field? On it um, not necessarily pressure, but like it's definitely a different feel. You know, yeah. there's kids that, you know, want you to wave to them during the game or, um, you know, after I'm done here, I'm sure kids want me to sign their footballs yeah. and things like that. It's just um, more comes with it, but at the same time, it's uh, it's a challenge that if you take on, it's it's going to benefit you for sure because you have to be on your game every every game, or you know people will say things. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. I mean, with that, a lot of like kids are going through like the recruiting process during their junior year, right. right? Like, I mean, what does it mean for you to be, I guess, solidified, and then I guess over the next two years, kind of just continuing to improve your game? What does that look like for you? Yeah, I'm just going to learn everything I can every single day. Um, we, we talk a lot around here about getting 1% better. So, um, you know, just getting 1% better every day, uh, you know, physically, mentally, um, just so that, you know, when I make that transition to college football, it's a little bit easier for me, you know. Um, and at the same time, it'll get easier for the coaches in college if I can kind of slow it down now. Do you so. feel like I, how much trust does this coaching staff have in you in terms of the offensive playbook, I mean, especially, I mean, as a junior quarterback coming back, like how much of that is open to you and in, in, in kind of – is that like a gradual process or what does that look like this year? Yeah, so it, it, I mean, it's gradually gotten more and more. Um, you know, my freshman year is a little bit shaky. I didn't start till week six. So yeah. last year they kind of pushed me into it. And then uh, this year I've been able to kind of take on, you know, tell my offense coordinator what I'm seeing, what I think would work, stuff like that. And um, I think it's going to benefit us for sure because we get two different views and, you know, we can run the best play possible. How has Corey helped with that? Oh, he's helped a bunch. I mean, at seven on seven, he was. He was there just kind of like mentoring, you know, telling me, you know, what, asking me what I'm seeing and things like that too. And he kind of just, you know, we, I've watched a bunch of Ohio State highlights recently just to see like what things work. And I'll send him to my offensive coordinator and I'll ask Coach Dennis about, you know, what, what the play was there and stuff like that and how they manipulated the defense. So you mentioned being judged basically for everything you do on and off the field. Yes, sir. What is that like? Uh, it's uh, as always. It's a blessing, you know. It's people probably some people from the outside think it's you know it'd be a lot of pressure, but this is what this is what I've wanted for a long time. So you know, all eyes on me is is, is okay with me, and I think it just helps you to be a better person. You gotta you know do the right thing at all times. So um, that's just the main thing. I mean, well, that's probably not a big change. Oh yeah, I, yeah. But at the end of the day, you still in the back of your mind. You're an Ohio State commit, you know. So. Ohio State's excellent in football, and you got to be excellent as well. Is the plan to visit every Ohio State home game this fall? Yes, sir. I'll be at every one. Um, obviously, you have a big opportunity to be a beer, peer recruiter for your class, uh, first one in there. Yes, sir. Um, what guys specifically are you targeting to join you right now? Um, Nate Roberts, tight end, recently just decommitted from Notre Dame. Um, Amari, he's a, he's a tight end as well. I'm recruiting him as well. Then some defensive guys. I'm going after, like, Devin Sanchez, um, Dorian Brew. Um, I've been in contact with like Bo Jackson and 
um, Carter Lowe, people like that. I'm, I'm gonna start reaching out to more linemen too as well, just to kind of get this um, this class kind of built. Any thoughts on the Ohio State quarterback battle going on right now? Um, two good quarterbacks. You know, I know Coach Day's gonna make the right decision. Um, you know, they're both great, great people, and they're gonna do great things regardless. So I think whoever they go with is gonna be totally fine. And I know that Ohio State's gonna be in good hands. I'm, re I'm really eager to see how the season goes because I think it's gonna be a good one.